Hello Travel Toasters and welcome back to another episode here and today we are doing a little hike here outside Vientian city. Yeah, we have been stuck in lockdown for a while now here in Laos so getting out into the nature is much needed. Yeah, totally miss it and we actually invited a few friends to come here, a couple actually. Dan versus Food hey and guys. Margarita here, boom. So yeah, to keep us to company. This. Yeah, looking forward to this, literally need to get out that mountain right now. You ready guys? <laughs> Definitely. Yes. Yeah, let's do it. It is so hot today. Uh, how hot do you think it is now, guys? Oh, it's like 30, yeah, 35. 35, probably feels like 40 though. Yeah, it feels like 45 to be honest. It's like 11 o'clock right now. We left a little bit late, but it's okay because that's what we usually do. We just sleep in and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a hot day. So the gate's closed. There's like a little ladder. But that's how you gotta get out. That's why there's a ladder. You see, there's like a ladder all the way down. Simple. We're hoping that this is gonna break because we really need some views. <laughs> Cheers. Everybody finding their own way so in their small. natural habitat. Oh. <laughs> That's a workout in itself. And now I'm the last one here. Oh wow. I think I've just heard like some loads of like rocks crumbling that are getting like destroyed. I don't know how to say. So we're just gonna get a little bit closer to see what it is. it wasn't as dug up as this at all you could probably watch that video if you want to see the difference but there was always a house on the top of here and he's still up there you probably can't see that but someone lives there do you think they just don't want to move yeah i feel like they're living in like a little oasis the only thing that looks like this bedrock over there is just gonna collapse if yeah. you take a closer look it's you already see little gaps there if they keep digging into it it's just gonna fall i know right it's a bit dodgy look at the size of the leaves of this tree it's not, it looks like Jurassic Park, man. <laughs> you can see arrows that points up. From here on, we're gonna climb up the mountain and that's where we're gonna spill some real sweat. How are you feeling? Yeah, uh, already gas. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Nearly there, five more minutes, guys. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. <laughs> here we are in the heart of a jungle, alone and stranded for the next seven days. It's something that I'd love to film one day. Still looking like for like a guide or something like that. We would like to do like survival stuff. Go for like a week worth of camping, you know, somewhere in the jungle. It's something we would really love to do. If you know any good guide somewhere in like Vintian area, leave us a comment below. We'd really appreciate that. Hey, up. How are you guys keeping up there? Hey, man. Pretty good. Pretty sweaty. Sweat's just negativity leaving the body. Exactly. You might think this path is not very steep, but it's really freaking steep. Not sure if you guys can see that on the camera. Surely I can feel it. I mean, I'm already soaking wet. We've already been like only like five minutes in the hike up the mountain and everyone's already gassed. I mean, this temperature is just absolutely killing you. So we just had a little break. How's everybody feeling? Uh, the first 50 meters. Loads of loud, loud runners just <laughs> ran down past us like... Yeah. I'm so jealous that they can do that. Whoa. It did make us feel a little bit. We were like, what? Everyone's just gassed there. Yeah. Wow, it looks really nice in here and the smell. Ah, it's just so flowers. Living in Vintian city and coming here is so nice. Wanting to do some exercise, you should totally visit this place, Wealth Cafe Hike. It's really good. Are you okay there? I feel so sick. You look a little bit pale. Yeah. Pale or red or both? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I am right now. I think it's just the temperature because it's really, really hot right now. Yeah, last time we did this hike it was like, what, October, November? Yeah. It was way cooler. This is the hottest season. Why yeah. are we doing this right now? We've got Dan and Rita behind here as well. Um, everyone's, I mean, they haven't been hiking for a long time as well. So no. they're super gassed. The locals who just came past didn't speak English, but they said, fight it, fight it, which I think means there's a long way to keep go. Going, we need to keep, keep fighting. Keep fighting, it. yeah. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do. Let's just keep going. Let's yeah. do this thing. I want to get up and get some nice, fresh breeze at the top. Maybe get a sandwich as well. Pass and keep. Oh. 
ไปค้นหาคนบ่เห็นวานนี้ Oh you go up for looking for looking บ่เห็นอ่าโอเคโอเคโอเคขอบใจ So just saw a guy uh, yeah walking with the with the machine gun He's got like a uniform so maybe yeah. he's like a He's like to do with the nature. Maybe he stops poachers ranger. because ranger. Ranger. yeah, he's a ranger. Because I, I saw a guy walking with an AK in the middle of the jungle. I'm like, oh, that's not good, <laughs> right? Is he coming for us? Because like, you know, the last thing you want to encounter in the middle of the jungle is a guy with an AK-47. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> But now this guy was pretty friendly, so we're good. So when you go on the path, you keep seeing more and more like cut out trees. So you can see there's a little bit of deforestation happening here. It's not as heavy as like a lot of parts here. But it's starting. We've been here like eight months ago, and I've seen more trees than there is now. And you can tell that these have been cut down recently. So I feel like now we're getting a little bit closer to the snake's home. Very grassy area, and that's what snakes love the most. So we really gotta be careful and not step onto one. There's a lot of snakes here in Laos. Where are we going here? Kind of gives you a bit of like refresh, maybe because it's in the shade. <sighs> Loving life. Just found some sort of like jungle fruit. I'm pretty sure it's not edible for humans, at least not right now. But whatever that is, it looks like food. And now I feel like we're in some sort of bamboo forest. We're just surrounded by a lot of like dried and dead bamboos. And you can see it just stretches out all the way there. It looks really nice. Just like in the movies. A bamboo forest. You look at these jungle trees, man. It's so cool. Wow. Tiny little gaps you have to go past. Ah. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. Yeah, it's it's getting narrower. Have a little stop and check this beautiful banyan tree. I mean, look at that bad boy. It is huge. It's massive. I love these trees. I think we're like nearly halfway now, right? Please tell me we're nearly halfway. I think so. We should be. The air is just getting fresher and fresher, and also the path is getting steeper and steeper. Now it's like we're just generally doing pretty much like rock climbing, and I have to like vlog with one hand as well. You okay back there? We're already seeing an amazing view, and it's a lot greener than I remember from last time. So that's Thailand all the way there. That's Thailand. Yeah. So I believe we pretty much arrived. You can already tell by the noise of the people and a big rock. Yeah, and it's way cooler here. Whoa, am I going backwards? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Look at that. It's like a natural roof. And then this wall, it looks so like neat. It definitely looks like man-made, if you look at it. So there's a ladder. Wow, be careful here, loads of mud. And here it is. The little spiritual oasis. Look at it. Wow. It looks amazing, right? There's people like praying, incense. A little Buddha. Beautiful Buddha paintings. You made it. Yes. Smashed it. I don't remember it being that hot. So <laughs> it's really hot nowadays. Yeah. All right, you ready? Heavy. Right in the middle. That's it. Got it. Everybody knows I made it up to the top now. <laughs> Leave your mark. And the moment of truth. That was a good one. Thank you. Yes. Very zen. Now we're waiting for Dan and Rita, whatever they are. I have no idea. They could be anywhere right now. I really hope they won't be too long. But even though they are, we're already here, so we can just chill right now to have a drink. Have It's a quite snack. nice and breezy in here. Have a snack, exactly. I'll enjoy the views. There's a few more steps up to the very top, but we're pretty much here. So yeah, we made it. Let's Ooh. look around. So you can actually see some old painting as well, which is uh, 
very famous picture of a guy cutting his hair off with a blade probably become a monk or something i'm not entirely sure of the whole story but i feel like that's what it is it's like literally one of those scenes in like a movie tomb raider or indiana jones where you go and like you discover this little shrine on the top of the mountain it's just magical that's all i can say Modern day local youth. <laughs> Dan has made it. He's here. We still don't see a sign of Rita anywhere. No, Rita gave up. She's gone. We, yeah, she's. We sat down for five minutes, got our breath back, then two guys passed. Rita asked them how long, and they were like, "Oh, it's halfway." She was like, "Fuck that!" <laughs> so she just stayed there. <laughs> is she gonna come up or is no, she gonna stay? No, she's gonna go back down. Oh right. Yeah. But if you come halfway, you may as well finish it. I know, but yeah, like she only got two hours sleep last night, so yeah, I sort of understand. Fair enough. It's probably not the most sensible thing to do. Fair oh no, that's my stick. Oh no. <laughs> you made it, man. You made it. Now you got to hit the gong to symbolise your yeah. arrival. Yeah. Go. Dan has arrived. I'm here. Did you see the guy with the gun? The AK-47. Yeah. So he, so when we arrived... So now that we got Dan versus Food here with us, we're gonna continue to get to the very top, which is pretty much like two minutes. Right, so there's another ladder. Is this a scary ladder? Uh, it's broken today. Probably use the stick to climb up. Yeah, just be extra careful. Sending me up first, yeah? Ladies first, right? Are you sure they don't didn't go another way? No, it's okay. Ah, don't stand on that one. Oh, Mario, oh, that's oh. dodge. I'm not gonna be able to get up that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? This, this man with AK who managed, you can do. I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't think AK in this one. This is an official path back in the day. We just like a bit of adventure, no, don't we guys? Give me your hand. Oh, Give me one of your hands. You Give me your hand. So don't worry. Just, just get up. No, 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 no. no up, look. Up back. You see? Oh my okay, gosh, she's yeah. so strong. There's no, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Give me your bag. Mm, dude, I'm pretty sure. Can you I have to make sure you put both of the legs down there. Yeah, leg there. One hand there, one hand there. Uh, make sure you put the other leg there as well so it, it yeah. balances out. Just be super careful, bro. Uh, you got it. Got it, got it. The tree's solid. Mission! You can do it! Oh, I know. Anything's possible, <laughs> man. Push it! That's scary, <laughs> though. No yeah, limits! That's not easy. <laughs> but this is the top. Yay! Yeah, man. So, the moment of truth and the final destination. We have arrived! There's a dog. There's a dog. There's a couple of people here. But it's pretty nice and quiet. There was loads of people earlier, but the guy with the AK-47 kind of like Said everyone to go. Scared them off. Scared them off pretty much, yeah. So, yeah, this is the view, man. Look at it. Uh. It looks unbelievable. Enjoy the views now. It's getting too hot, and there's loads of like, tiny little flies just flying all over your face. It's kind of annoying. And also, Rita made it all the way to the top, but she just couldn't get to that ladder earlier. And she took the way around the cliff. So, we're gonna go and see if we can find Rita now. Hopefully, she's alive. So, there she is. She's made it one last big gap, and she's here. Boom! Made it. <laughs> now, we're just observing Rita, observing the views. So we were just exploring the local area and I just bump into this tree that's fallen down and look at this natural formations it really looks like some ancient structure or something like that I mean look at it 
and there's like a cave in there. So we're on our way down. Uh, Dan and Rita's just gonna catch up. We're gonna gonna go and wash ourselves a little bit. Dan just had like a muscle cramp in his leg, so he can't really walk. So we're just gonna go and wash ourselves first. So by you guys speak English? Oh, yeah. No, no pasa English? Yeah. Pasa and keep. Pasa and keep? No, no, okay. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, these, there's these huts and like people pretty much like live here. And it's like all like the rock. Very nice. I don't know what they're saying. Living of the wild, but they're probably talking about us. You have no idea, but... Tell us what they're saying, guys. <laughs> oh, it's so fresh. Really? Proper cold, yeah. Oh, that looks so nice. Oh! Makes crazy. you want to drink it. It's crazy that that's yeah. just there in the that middle of nature. So refreshing. Oh my. People live in there. You got running water. Whoa, I just got Oh my down. god. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? You made me jump because you jumped and I was just, I was just like, snake in the corner. Of my so head. I was just enjoying the water and then I look right and I see this. Boom. A massive cobra. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> so yeah, there's soap, running water. I mean, what else do you need? The nature, food literally grows everywhere and they, these people up there, they just live in like proper off-grid. There's not a lot of that left nowadays. So it's the hottest time of the day and we're super sweaty right now. And we know if you go down, there's like ice cold, fresh shakes and smoothies. <laughs> Cannot wait. All the goodness. Yeah, so we're gonna go down now and we'll see you in a second. And we're here, it didn't take long. It only took about five seconds. Pretty sure I got heat stroke on the way down. That <laughs> was not five yeah, seconds. Yeah, it was about half an hour actually. It wasn't too bad. It's just when we come out onto the like open, it was really it's hot like and it was just too much. What I imagine being it, stuck in the desert would feel like. <laughs> it was horrible. It's like two o'clock right now, mm. so it's extremely hot. But we managed, we made it, and this is the prize that we get a nice cold mango smoothie. Jeez. Living life is all I can say. What happened, man? Where were you guys? It took our wrong direction. It was our fault. Wrong way. Just having like an hour walking tour of some farmland, basically. Fuck you, man. Lots of buffaloes. Lots of deserts. Lots of barbed wire fences that we climb through and over. Oh. So anyways, this whole trip was pretty hot. It was pretty extreme and red. Yeah. How'd you guys feel? Completely, totally exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you are guys wanting to go for a hike like this, it's actually like half an hour drive from Indian. You should check it out. It's called Wealth Cafe. And we really hope that you enjoyed this whole video. Like, subscribe, all of that stuff. And we will see you in the next one.